Okay, so part um, part four. Um, essentially, we've got now the uh, piezo disc mounted in the in the module. We've tightened the screw so that there is a little bit of preload on the disc. But you can see if you squeeze it together, you still get a little bit of uh, movement. It's important to make sure the piezo disc is sort of fairly um, central and sits in the recess in the upper part, and that the solder pad sits in the little groove in the lower part that it's uh, designed to sit in. Um, so you've now got, got that there. The, the, the PTFE tube or the little rod that we were using there isn't needed anymore because the piezo disc is now quite solid. So essentially now the two leads on the piezo discs and what we're going to do next is we're going to basically crimp uh, connectors on here. I mean, I'm using DuPont connectors. I won't say too much about the crimping. You can look up lots of videos on how to do decent crimping but what I am going to do with these tiny little leads on the end is just to fold them over so that essentially they'll be a little bit wider um, when they're crimped and again be very careful with these leads the solder pads pull off the piezo disc very easily essentially just pop them into the crimper and we're just going to crimp the crimp the connectors on. So let's just put the negative lead in. Okay, so we've got the connectors attached. Um, essentially, we're going to insert them then into a um, into a housing. I mean, my crimper isn't brilliant, so it doesn't always fold the uh, cable strain reliefs over perfectly. I end up just slightly pushing them in afterwards. Make sure they go all the way in and that they lock and that the black tabs here sit flat, which shows that they're properly attached. Um, now we get the PCB. I mean, in this case, I'm actually using the um, Precision Piezo Piezo 20 PCB, but you can obviously run this lead or extend this lead and put it into the kit version 1.21 PCB. So essentially, the PCB is going to mount on the front here onto these two little turrets. Um, this version, the um, connector here for the end stop connector is ever so slightly tight. In later versions there'll be a little extension here so that it clears the unit. So all I do with these is just very very lightly just just fold them out ever so slightly so that you can then get the connector on afterwards. Um, with these Murata discs generally the polarity is correct so we're going to have the positive red lead aligned towards the top of the module. The connectors on the back of the PCB and we're just going to slide it on and just make sure it's connected there. Sometimes it's worth just putting a little fold in the leads as you bring this on and then attach this with two very short sort of M3 by 4 or 6 or what have you, two very short screws there and then essentially that completes the mechanical setup um, of the module. If you're making the screw mount version, you do everything exactly the same there, except you have your screw mount with your two brass inserts. I've only done one so far. Um, piezo disc in here and your lower part. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, your PCB fits on exactly the same onto the two turrets.